So I've been really enjoying designing with Tailwind CSS over the past few weeks. And I hope that in this video, I can show you how easy it is to design good looking websites using Tailwind without having in-depth knowledge of CSS. So yesterday I came across this website that looks like a designer's portfolio. It's a very nice website and I really like the design. So I was wondering if I could build this myself using Tailwind. Now I'm a software developer, not a designer. But I'm going to give it a try anyway and see how far I can get on my own. We are going to begin with a mobile view. So if I open the dev tools, I'll try to build this mobile view first. I found this mobile first workflow very productive. It keeps things simple and often you'll find that you don't have to change your design that much uh, after you increase the width for tablets and desktop views. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to use a Ruby on Rails application as that's what I'm most familiar with, but you don't have to use Rails if you want to follow, follow along. You can use this simple Tailwind sandbox project that I created. It's up on GitHub. Uh, the setup instructions are all in the project. Uh, it's a very simple setup and it also supports browser sync. So a nice benefit is that whenever you make a change and hit save, the browser will reload automatically without you having to refresh. So, uh, so I highly encourage you to check it out and follow along with me as I code. So let's get started with the code. I have a blank index HTML file here. It's a ERB template in Rails and uh, it's empty right now. And we'll try to mimic what we have here. Uh, now to keep things simple, I'm going to ignore a few things. So we'll just try to design this page and we'll ignore the latest works for now and i will also ignore the dark mode for now so we'll just keep things simple and have the um, title and the hamburger icon for now so yeah let's let's begin i'll start with adding a body element with some default classes Whenever I start a new design project, I usually like to have some default styles on my body. So first is anti-aliased. Then want it to be centered, so I'll use the container with MX Auto. Let's also make the uh, our content take the full full height of the uh, screen. So I'll use the edge screen, and let's use wide letter spacing so i'll use the tracking wide class so if i save that and uh, reload the page you can see nothing has changed here but if i add a background let's say bg pink 50 you can see it's taking the full height of the browser all right so let's get rid of the background color And we'll start with the header and we can see it's a flex element with the justify between uh, between the left hand side flex item and the right hand side flex item so let's uh, add that simple structure so i'll create a header tag and uh, let's add uh, uh, instead of making the header a flex we'll add a div inside it and we'll make that a flex item flex box and um, let's add the first title and then we'll add the hamburger uh, let's just type icon for now and let's uh, let's see how it looks so I will use the justify between for that. So they're nicely, nicely spaced. All right. Now our header needs to have some padding and margin. So let's add that. Um, looks like it's padding, top padding should be four. And uh, I'll also add some margin, bottom margin here. OK, 
Okay. And just to just so we can see how it looks, let's add BG gray 50. All right. Now let's try to design the title. Looks like it's a uh, text Excel with font extra bold. If I reload, let's make it three Excel. Okay, that looks good to me. And uh, we'll design this div so it has um, padding, and we also want item center so they are vertically centered let's add padding horizontal padding of 4 and vertical padding of 6 let's see how that looks okay that's looks reasonable to me and now let's add our icon now the way I'm going to add this icon is uh, I'm going to use an SVG uh, which I copied from um, hero icons and the SVG is stored in my uh, icons directory or not here but inside my design yeah shared icons and here's the SVG for that hamburger icon so I'm just going to use rails helper to render that inside um, now I want it to be a button so let's add a button tag and inside as the content of that button I'm going to use uh, the rails uh, render and it's inside the icons directory and it's called hamburger so if I reload that you can see it's there that's pretty much for the header I think that's good enough it's not matching exactly but we don't we are not really looking for the exact precision we just want to get the overall look and feel and the structure according to the, this website okay so let's move on to the next section which is the hero section and uh, that comes after the header and I'm going to put that inside a main tag and looks like uh, we need some padding and padding uh, on the main so let's add that I use the padding X of 4 and we also need some top padding it's 5 maybe oh uh, yeah I think let's add some background so we can see all right so now let's uh, the first thing we need is instead of design instead of starting with the design let's just try to get the structure right first so what i'm going to do is just add some uh, add the basic structure so let's start with the section inside i will add the h1 tag and let's copy this text uh, can't copy it here so let's just inspect that and I will copy the whole element let's paste that here and let's get rid of their tag and it goes here then we want to copy this paragraph which is the hero description let's copy that And let's get rid of the class again. And if I reload, here it is. And finally, we need a form. So I'm going to use again the Rails form helper and use the form with URL. Let's just point it to the root path and we'll add the classes later. You can just use simple form. I'm just using form with to uh, speed things up. But uh, yeah, feel free to use the uh, 
HTML form tag. So let's end this form here. And inside, uh, let's uh, use two divs for our um, input and the button. So let's use form.text field for email. We'll use the classes later and the placeholder will be your email address. And then we have a form Oops. submit and the text is get updates. Let's see what we have so far. All right, that looks good. And finally, we'll just use these, this image. So I've just downloaded that image in my assets images directory called hero JPEG. So I'm going to use that. So let's use the image tag for that. Let's see what we have. All right, so I think we have the all the structure of our HTML ready. Now let's worry about the classes. So let's start with this H H1 tag. So I'm going to style it. Um, looks like it is uh, text three XL. So and font font will be extra bold. I'm also going to use the bottom margin of let's say six. Okay, that looks reasonable. Now they're using it. I think they're using a different font, but I'm not concerned about the font. You can always change it later. Also, it looks like I need some more padding on my main. So let's just do px six. Yeah, that's better. Or maybe not they look they don't look aligned so let's just move it back to four never mind all right so next uh, I wonder if text to Excel will be better idea so no it's too small I think so let's keep it text 3 Excel and then I will increase the line height on it so it looks nicely spaced. So let's use a uh, letting seven. Oops, not seven, maybe nine. Okay, and for the paragraph, we'll use tracking because it looks uh never mind i was gonna use tracking wi wider but i think it looks good as it is so let's use uh, some line height again so use i'll use letting seven okay so i think i have uh the header and the paragraphs are looking pretty nice Let's move, move on to the form. And for the form, I'm going to use some top margin. Let's use MD4 or five. Okay. And then uh, our input class. All right, so let's see what we have here. So it's gonna be rounded and it has some nice padding inside and some background. So let's add that. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let's just take it the entire width of the screen so let's use width full like that same with this button but let's worry about the button later so let's give some bottom margin 
so we have them nicely spaced some padding ex uh, looks like five will be good enough and let's use the vertical padding to be four okay let's add the background color looks like it's gray light gray and then let's make the make it rounded rounded excel all right it's coming along well so i'll use the border 2 and border transparent because i don't want this border okay that's pretty nice i think that's enough for our uh, input we can get rid of the outline but let's not worry about that for now let's move on to the button so let's make it mm, block and width full and uh, let's put some background g yellow 50 that's too light maybe let's do g yellow 300 I think it's orange but I think this is good close enough but we can worry about the colors later so let's keep it as it is and we'll use the font bold and uh, let's add the same padding we used for the input and it needs to be rounded all right so it's looking close enough Finally, let's style the image. It's simple, so let's add some top margin, px5, maybe, uh, or maybe eight. Yeah, and the image needs to be rounded. Is it rounded large? Maybe not. No, I think this is close enough. Let's also add some nice shadow on it. All right. So I think we have what we have here looks pretty close enough to the original design. I, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we can tweak it more if we if needed like changing the colors and line height letter spacing and all that but i think in terms of the big picture it's looking pretty close let's uh, get rid of the background colors because we don't need them oh not that that's the input but i don't need this pg slate and this pg gray 50. so it looks close enough all right that's much better so what do you think it's close enough i think um let's stop here i hope that you learned something new and you saw how easy it is to develop and design websites using tailwind css so i hope you gave it give it a try and uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below talk to you later bye now